once in a while I get a tip that it makes me immediately log in. This footage was sent to me by someone who wanted to remain anonymous. They said sometimes they log into PvP worlds while they're skilling, and this time they hopped into a PvP world at the Minnows Fishing Platform in the Fishing Guild. As you can see, this person found at least six accounts there, a lot of them with the Heron Pet and 99 Fishing Capes, many of them with over 20 million fishing XP. Before the clip started, this person told me they all went AFK at once, and as you can see in the clip, they all logged off at once. Probably because this guy logged in. I can't think of any good reason anyone would be fishing on a PvP world versus a regular world, other than to maybe avoid player detection since players wouldn't really log into PvP worlds to fish minnows for raw sharks. What I was really interested in though was what was in these guys' inventories. Minnows are stackable, which means they have plenty of free inventory space, and you can trade the minnows in for noted raw sharks on the platform. If they were trading in those minnows for raw sharks pretty regularly, they might have thousands of noted raw sharks in their inventory. Now, I have a great video for you guys today. If you like the video, make sure to like the video, and if you like more than one of my videos, consider subscribing. Only about 30% of my viewers are actually subscribed. We're closing in on 300,000 subscribers as well, which is a huge goal of mine. Let's back up to the beginning of this story. If you go to the Minnows fishing platform on almost every single world, there are between 5 and 10 accounts there that are basically level 3 to 10. Lots of them have between 10 and 50 million fishing experience. It seems like these accounts are a mix between bots and gold farmers in every single world. Again, I don't know why any fisher would ever hop into a PvP world, let alone a large group of them. But there's no doubt that they're definitely pretty well protected on the Minnows platform. You need at least 82 fishing to access the platform as well as the full angler outfit. These are requirements that basically no low level PKing accounts are going to get. I was pretty sure I could get away without getting those requirements on a low level account if I could just get close enough to the Minnows platform on the northeastern shore. The fishing spots rotate clockwise every 15 seconds, and I was pretty sure I would only be able to hit the accounts that were on the northern side, so I had to be pretty accurate with my timing. And after I got the tip, I was checking back five plus times a day to see if any accounts logged in. Finally, one did, Lamar Jackson with 87 fishing and only 10 attack. We're gonna go PK a lot of fishers in PvP worlds, but first, I wanna show you a product you might need. These days, basically everyone is able to record their gameplays, but the next step is making it super easy to edit that gameplay in an entertaining or informative video. Enter Wondershare Filmora 10. This software is super easy to use, so it's perfect for people who wanna start a YouTube channel or just make good looking videos. To get started, it's as easy as dragging and dropping a clip into the software, and then look at this, you wanna add a transition, it's as easy as dragging and dropping the transition in. There are lots of preset templates, for example, all of these title text templates here. There's also a new silence detection tool that automatically selects only the part of an audio track that has noise, which filters out all of the awkward pauses in my commentaries. It's a paid tool, but you can try it for free for seven days. To try Filmora for free, click the download link in the description. You don't have to make any purchases to try out the software. Filmora is also giving away a free Filmora license to three of my viewers. If you comment, I want to try Filmora to make dot 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 video, and share this video to social media with hashtag Filmora ampersand sir pugger you'll be eligible to win a free license three winners will be picked huge thanks to filmora for sponsoring this video i immediately went to level up my magic on a level three account if i got 23 magic i could use water bolt which can hit 10 so potentially being able to one hit level three accounts i'd only be combat level 17 so i could still attack the level threes it only took a few minutes to get 23 magic and i hopped into the pvp world and two hit the account which didn't have any noted raw sharks on it only most of an inventory of admiral pies but only a few hours later that day i checked back and this time I found a lot of accounts in the PvP world. It was weird, it seemed like there were two separate groups here. One was on the left side, all with well over 99 fishing, between 20 and 40 million fishing experience each. Let's do a quick lifetime earnings calculation here. At 95 fishing, you can get about 50k XP per hour at minnows. If you have 40 million fishing XP, that's about 800 hours of fishing minnows. Let's round down to 700 though. Minnows is only 350k per hour, but that means one of these accounts with 40 million fishing XP has made about 250 million GP. That's roughly 500,000 raw sharks. I'd love it if those were still in their inventory. The other was on the right side, all with 86 fishing. All of them level 3 with only 10 hit points. I was able to kill two of them that had moved into the northern position, the only position I could actually attack these accounts in. The loot was only one small fishing net per account. Very disappointing. They clearly weren't trading in their minnows for raw sharks. The other accounts on the platform seemed to have noticed that I was attacking a few of the accounts, and they all logged out. Over the next few days, I found groups of between one to three fishing accounts in the PvP worlds, mainly with between 88 and 95 fishing. And then finally, when I hopped into a high-risk PvP world, aka the world that makes you skull and lose everything on death, there was another group of level threes, but this time skull. This time when I killed one, I did get some teleportation jewelry worth about 50k, but still, no raw sharks. But I was super curious as to whether these accounts were
for cheating or not. First of all, it's just so weird that so many of them would keep coming to PvP worlds. Second, a lot of them seem to log off or at least go inactive at the exact same time. If they're normal players, they don't all log out at once, just like the clip I was sent in the beginning of this video. So I sent some of the usernames off to Jagex. They told me they caught the mule of these accounts, which had 383 million GP on it. It was banned for selling gold. All of these accounts were apparently gold farmers and all of them had between 120k to 200,000 minnows on them. So it was super frustrating because I was killing them and they had millions of GP worth of raw sharks on them, but just in the untradeable form of minnows. But if they're just regular gold farmers, that doesn't explain the weird behavior of being able to log out all at once, for example. If I had to guess, I would say these accounts were all multi-boxing, using software to control a lot of accounts at one time. Since the minnows fishing spot rotation is super predictable, you could likely sync up hundreds of accounts to be fishing at minnows at once. That's just a theory, but would explain why there are so many gold farmers at minnows. Even though I didn't get the loot, it was still removed from the game. I'm sure you were also disappointed that I didn't get any loot, so here's a situation where I got a lot of loot from a bot farm in the wilderness. Out of the blue a couple days ago, I got this comment on a YouTube video. It says, I recently made 20 mil in the last week killing agility botters on almost any world below Edgeville near the red spider eggs. He said he had a level 64 account, PK them, and it seems profitable, but why do they keep so much candies? I thought candies might reference purple sweets, but I still don't know. The only agility where he's talking about are the monkey bars, which is heavily botted. Usually accounts don't risk much there. The second world I log into to check if there are any botters had two in there. Both level 63, so I think this is what the tip is talking about. I'm pretty certain these are Zolra bots in the making. I'll get more into that later in the video. Luckily, I had a combat level 57 account and it's in six wilderness, so I can attack these guys. What I was really curious about is what they actually risk. And it turns out the answer is one rune scimitar, an adamant plate body, and about 300 bronze arrows. That's almost 40k per account. Every single US or British world I logged into had at least one, usually closer to three or four of these accounts. The accounts aren't even programmed to run away or teleport, so it's literally the freest loot you've ever seen. Now, I was literally clearing world starting in world 302 and going up, so I logged into world 319 where everyone has to be sculled. And what do you know? Three more bots, but they're all sculled. So add three more rune sets to the loot tab. So not only did whoever made this bot have the bots risk in the wilderness, they also log into target worlds that auto skull you. And at this point in just 15 worlds, my looting bag was already full of adamant and rune. My first trip, we got 315k in the inventory and another 400k in the looting bag. Now, as I was hopping around, I found another world in which two accounts were skulled. This was not a target world or any world that auto skulls you, so I don't know why, but obviously I killed them and got some more rune. As I continued to clear worlds, I actually logged into a world with level 78s in dragon instead of rune. They were definitely being made for the same thing. Again, I'm guessing mage only Zul robotic. If you look at their stats, they're similar. The only real difference is a really high mage level. But after I got there, these accounts actually quickly logged off. So they're not using the same script as the lower level bots. I didn't have an account geared ready to kill them anyway. I also started checking back in the worlds I'd already killed the bots and they do come back, but they don't re-gear their armor. Obviously, I still sent them back to Lumbridge, but all they have are pineapple pizzas. I ran into more of the higher level accounts in Dragon, but this time I had geared up my level 78 pure. If these accounts can't log out, they end up running away eventually, but I was able to kill a couple. All they have on them are monkfish. I can't stress enough how many of these level 63 accounts I found. There were also plenty of level 65s that I couldn't kill on my pure. It's a pretty crazy insight into how many Zolra bots are being made at one time. My second trip, I got 440k in the looting bag and another 250k in my inventory. I was finding worlds with five bots in them each, and I ended up sweeping through every single world and killing all of the level 63s I could. I'd say about a third of the accounts I found were level 65, so I couldn't kill them. I ended up with 61 rune scimitars and 61 adamant plate bodies. The total loot was 2 million GP. I'd estimate there were almost 100 accounts doing this at once, and this is just one stage in the operation of getting a fresh account up to a Zolra bot. At any given time, I'm sure there are hundreds and hundreds of Zolra bots being made. So here's why I thought these guys were Zolra bots. Recently, I got a tip about accounts killing goblins with fire strike in Lumbridge. Sure enough, there were lots of them with 50 attack strength, about 71 defense, mid 70s magic, and a few range levels. They also had 51 agility. I actually found a ton of these accounts, and a few of them were even ranging goblins with bronze arrows. I reported them over to Jagex, who said this happens all the time. These accounts are super widespread across the game. These are Zolra bots in the making. You need 56 agility to do the register 
side quest to access Zulra. And if you actually camp out at Zulra, you can pick out the major only Zulra bots I'm talking about. I've already made videos about them. A lot of them are actually mobile Zulra bots. When I was making this video, I was at the Grand Exchange and I even found a few more bots alking there that looked like mage only Zulra bots. Unfortunately, even though I got 2 million GP worth of loot, these bot farms can make tens and tens of billions of GP per month at Zulra. So 2 mil to them is absolutely nothing. I'll see you guys soon with another video.